In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to record a Playwright automation test in Visual Studio Code. And later I will discuss about where exactly Playwright HTML test report will be generated. So let's discuss the manual scenario. Then we will record that manual scenario by using the Playwright code gen. So here I will open this particular URL that is the github.com followed by the backup IN and then I will click on sign in link. Then I will click on the text box that is a username text box. So let's enter something here and I will come to the next text box that is that password and let us enter some data over here and then we are, we are going to click on the sign in button. And if you see here, so we have the error message displayed over here in the alert. So finally, we will validate this particular error message by using the Playwright automation tool. So this is a whole end-to-end -end scenario what we are going to automate it by using the record and play feature by the Playwright automation tool. So let's navigate to the VS code. And here you need to navigate to the testing that is the test explorer. And if you see the down left side so there are multiple features are listed by the playwright and simply you need to click on the record it record new and if you see here so playwright code gen started running and it brings up the browser basically so here we have to enter the url first so let's copy the url So this is a browser opened by the playwright. So here firstly, firstly I will enter the URL and it opens up the GitHub page and then we are going to click on the sign in link. And then we are entering the username. So let's enter some username over here. Then I will click on the password text box. So let us, let's enter some data over there. And then we are going to click on the sign in button. And if you see here, so error message is displayed and we have to verify this particular error message. So there are three ways we can validate this particular element or particular text box, sorry, text displayed on the web page. So if you look at this particular grid, so that's a particular part of the UI. So it has multiple options over here. So if you look at the last three options, the very first option is assert visibility. So basically, if I click on this particular particular assert visibility, so it validates the whether element is displayed or not. And the second feature is we can assert the text. Basically, it, it validates whether particular text is present or not. And also the last feature is you can basically verify the specific value from the web element. So I want to verify this particular text which is displayed on the web page so that's the reason i will select the assert text here and once you click on this assert text and you need to click on the text which you want to validate it so once you click on that particular web element and here you will it will open the one pop-up window and simply you need to click on the accept button that's it guys and then simply you can close the browser and if you see here in the visual studio code so already it has generated the all the code what we have performed a actions in the web page so let's navigate to the explorer here so by default automatically it has created the test hyphen one dot spec dot ts file so you can rename this particular file so in my case i will give the file name as so by default it will create the dot ts file so you can rename that it that into the dot js as well so here i'll say record test dot spec dot js that's it guys then i will save it so let me explain you the code as well so in the line number four it is navigating to the url then we are clicking on the sign in link then in the line number six and seven firstly we are clicking on that particular username text box and then we are entering this data and next we are clicking on the password text box and we are entering the data in the 
password field and in the line number 10 we are clicking on the sign in button and finally we are validating the whether that particular text is displayed on the <coughs> sorry guys so finally we are validating that particular text is displayed on the web page or not so let's run the playwright test and if you see here so it has launched the browser and it, it basically it is performing all the actions perfectly fine and also you can see here so our test is getting passed and also over here also you can see that our test is getting passed and also you can see the in which browser our test is getting executed right so now this time what i will do is so now test is getting passed and it is able to validate the text which is displayed on the web page by using the to content text right so here i will enter the different text so which is not matching with the web element text right so this time our test should get fail basically right so let's run the playwright automation test now and this time it should get fail so it has opened the browser then it has to click on the sign in link and then it will enter the username and password then it will verify the displayed text right so if you look at here so it is showing in the line number 11 so it is getting filled over here so it is not able to match the actual value and expected value right so this is the expected result and also our test is getting filled and also here you can see that one test is failed right so this is how you can record a playwright automation test by using the code gen extension in the vs code now let us see about the playwright html test report so where exactly this report will be generated you can navigate to the vs code and over here you can see that by default automatically one folder one folder will be created whenever you run playwright automation test the folder is playwright hyphen report inside this you will find the index.html report you can go to the location of this particular file and where you can find the html report simply open that report and if you see here so this is the total number of test cases and this is a pass count this is a fail count and this is a flaky count and skipped count so in our case only one test is there and that is getting failed so let's click on the failed one and here you will see the test so this is a spec file name and this is a test case name so simply you can click on the test case name and here you can see the firstly test name and also spec name spec file name and also here you can see the in which browser this particular test got executed and if you see here so this is the expected value but we are getting this particular value from the web page right so basically it is not matching the actual and expected value so this particular test what we have created just now by using the record and play feature by the playwright tool and also we have executed this particular test and if you come down so here it will list down all the steps that particular test contains and also you can see that in which step so our test is got failed also and also here you can see on the right side the the number of seconds or minutes it has taken that particular step so let's go to the vs code now so this time what i will do is so here i will pass the correct value in the expected right this time our test should get passed so it has opened the browser and it has to click on the link and then it will pass the, all the data and it will click on it will click on the sign in button and also you can see here so our test is getting passed now and in the test results also you can see that our test is getting passed so let's navigate to the report now so you can refresh this particular page that's the index dot index html and here you can see that so our test is getting passed and here you can click on the test and you can see the all the steps which this particular test case has and our test is getting passed also right so this is how you can record the playwright automation test and also you can generate the playwright test report